In her 2021 State of the Union address, the European Commission von der Leyen called digital the make or break issues. And while states have focused on innovation, security, or sovereignty, Edry has put the attention on rights and freedoms, democracy, and the rule of law. Last year, we saw a growing awareness of the negative consequences of surveillance online advertising on the digital ecosystem, on democracy, and on people. Edric put on the agenda the need to rein the exploitative dominant business model of big tech as part of the ongoing negotiations at EU level on the Digital Services Act. Edric has provided analysis and evidence, built coalitions and mobilized people for legal limits and human rights safeguards as part of the EU Artificial Intelligence Act. Our campaign, the Reclaim Your Face campaigns, secured national wins against biometric mass surveillance in Italy, Portugal, Serbia, and Germany. We continued monitoring development and migration controls that affect especially over-policed communities, people on the move, and children. Despite the growing attention, the digital rights field remains severely underfunded and stretched when facing the breadth and complexity of tech regulation and politics. We face unprecedented levels of corporate lobbying, with big tech lobbying budget being 20 times that of Edric's. While we see the relevance of digital rights issues affecting all sectors of society, from children's rights to racial justice, from the climate crisis to geopolitical tensions and health crises, we only start to scratch the surface to really break the silos between these issues. This is why, together with the Digital Freedom Fund and other partners, we've initiated a process to decolonize the digital rights field and look at how technologies affect all of us. This is why we need your support to continue bringing forward sustainable change in 2022 and beyond. Join us.